the outdoor track and field season is a few weeks away. But all that really means is that the NCAA Indoor Championship meet is just around the corner. In 2023, the men and women of Arkansas swept the nation, winning the NCAA Indoor title on both sides. They edged out their SEC conference rivals to pull it off. And I've already told you on this channel that the Arkansas Razorbacks might be the best track and field program from top to bottom. But their recruiting is the real reason why. Jaden Hibbert won the Bowerman Award in 2023. For the record, it's just track and field version of the Heisman. As a triple jumper, he dominated the entire nation as just a freshman. And he's now a threat to win a medal at the Olympics in 2024, representing Jamaica. And the men of Arkansas are actually ranked inside the top five of the nation once again. So it's very possible that they could go back to back. Simply put, it's near impossible to win a D1 NCAA team title without a future Olympian like Joseph Von Belay or even Grant Holloway on your team. So it's clear that the best teams win because they have the best talent. But college coaches really don't care that much where they go to find that talent. As long as you can prove that you really are one of the best, they will go wherever they have to on the planet to get you in their uniform. If you watch my channel, then you know that I rank track and field recruits across the entire nation in every event to help determine who is really the best. I've already dropped the national list for the boys and girls in the class of 2024 and 2025. And I'm always updating it by the way. And the class of 2026 is definitely up next. But none of this really matters if we can't figure out who is going where and how it's going to shake up the game once they get there. 24-7 can tell you right now who has the best recruiting class in college football for the class of 2024. For the record, it's the Georgia Bulldogs again. But nobody really pays attention to who has the best class in track and field. But the only real reason for that is because they honestly don't know the answer. And that is what I'm here for, to change that. So here is a breakdown of the top 10 men's teams in the NCAA based on their recruiting classes for the class of 2024. Of course, things can change with late commits in the upcoming months, and you should keep up with all of it on my website. And I am aware that all the best recruits aren't necessarily in America. I tried to account for some of them, but I know I don't have all of them, at least not yet. But as of right now, we have a pretty good idea who will be competing for national championships again in the coming seasons, because the best teams never rebuild. They don't have time for that. Instead, they reload with the best talent they can find, no matter where they have to go to find them. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. I had to start off this list with a few honorable mentions because two teams barely missed the cut. The Texas Longhorns have already signed five four-star recruits with three of them headed to their distance program that will no doubt help them make a run to win their conference in cross country in their new home, the SEC. But the Duke Blue Devils have six four stars and ACC teams don't make this list too much. So they're looking pretty good in that conference. But this list really gets started at number 10 with the Missouri Tigers out of the SEC. They have five ranked commits led by Jamie Mora, their only five star ranked recruit out of New Zealand. But he, along with every single one of their four-star commits, is headed to their distance program. So they're clearly going all in on cross country. Team number nine is BYU, the only Big 12 team to make this list. They have four committed recruits at the four-star level. But the real reason why they get this spot is because of their one five-star recruit, Daniel Simmons, out of the SCA top 10. But one of those recruits is also a football player though he may or may not actually show up sprinting on the track. Barely edging them out for the number eight spot is Penn State from the Big Ten. They're led by international five-star recruit, David Locke in the distance events. But they have five other four-star recruits who run distance, sprint, and even pole vault. Yet the number seven spot goes to their conference rivals, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. The only problem is that their best recruit and only five-star is Trent Euler who throws but also plays football. They have four other recruits at the four-star level, but one more of those is still on the football team. 
So hopefully, those coaches can reach an agreement that's best for the Cornhuskers in both sports. And the number six spot goes to a team that is new to the ACC, but not to recruiting. Stanford was able to convince international recruit James Dargan to join their team. He is a legitimate five-star distance running talent, but he is joined by four more four-star level recruits. That should be enough to compete for a conference championship going forward. And it wouldn't be a championship list without the Florida Gators. They come in at the number five spot. They have the number one recruit in the entire nation, with jumper Nicholas Cross White joining their team. He's the only five-star recruit on the books that I know about. And even though they have five more four-star level recruits, I have a feeling they're not done recruiting yet. Team number four put in a lot of work for this class. Notre Dame of the ACC has nine four-star recruits committed to their team. Thrower Luke Himes is the highest ranked, but they also have breakout distance star Drew Griffith on that list. The Fighting Irish have it all. Distance runners, sprinters, jumpers, and throwers. They just need to have good communication with the football coach. And ironically, the number three spot goes to the Oregon Ducks, who have the exact same problem. They convinced the number five recruit in the SCA Top 10, Gatlin Bear, to commit. But he sprints and plays football. They have two more recruits from the SCA Top 10. And they have five commits in total that are five-star level recruits. They even have one more four-star that I know about. But like I said, they need to talk to the football coach. The number two team stands out because they have committed numbers two, three, and four from the SCA Top 10. So it's actually a shock to see the Georgia Bulldogs only at number two. Those three boys are the only five stars that they have committed, but they also have five more four stars on their commitment list. The Georgia Bulldogs know how to recruit talent in football and apparently in track and field as well. However, the number one team on this list that out-recruited everybody in 2024 is the Tennessee Volunteers from the SEC. They're led by sprinter Javion Green, and he's the only five-star that they have committed. So the way they stole the number one spot was by committing 14 more boys who are all four-star level recruits. I'm not making this up, and only two of them play football. Nobody else in the nation even has 10. Forget about 15. I don't know how they pulled it off, but they should definitely win something really soon. The best teams in college are only the best because they have the best talent, and recruiting is always the key to finding it. The teams on this list have been dominating on the track for a while now, but they won't rest until they are hoisting up the national championship trophy. The names of the teams I didn't mention had better know something that I don't, because all of these teams have been very hard at work on the recruiting trail. Remember to check the full team rankings on my website, as well as the national boys list for the class of 2024, because you or someone you know just might be on it. And remember, if you think I got it wrong, that's fine, because rankings don't mean anything after the gun goes off. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.